what's up everybody thanks for tuning in to another video today is flight number five of the pilot edge cat rating series and we'll be flying to Meadows Bakersfield Airport that's about 76 miles from here so it should be a nice hour or so flight I'm currently sitting here at the Northeast Hangars at Santa Maria Airport and I just completed the pre-flight inspection for those of you that have been watching a few of my videos, you you probably noticed that I'm in a different livery today. This is one of the liveries that comes with the Nadrian mod for the Cessna 152. And I really like this one. The the black, the blue, and the white. It goes really well. Especially the, the chrome door. That's that's really nice too. I did look online to see if I can find the original aircraft and I found one picture. It appears it was taken back in 2011. Um, the paint schemes are a little different, so I think the developer probably just added a few extra colors and stuff to it, but either way it goes, I really like it, so that's what we'll be flying today. And without further ado, we'll go ahead and get the engine started up and then get set up for our flight. So before starting engine checklist, pre-flight inspection is complete. Seat belts, shoulder harness are locked and just and adjust and locked. Fuel shutoff valve that is on. Radios and electric equipment that is off. Our brakes are set and our circuit breakers are all in. Starting engines, mixture is rich, carb heat, cold, prime, I'll do one stroke on that. This primer is the only button that I have not mapped or been able to map in my cockpit. So I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, throttle, open a half inch. Prop areas clear, clear prop. Master switch on. I'll turn, turn the beacon on. And we'll start. Today's flight plan, uh, we are currently here at Santa Maria Airport, this is a class Delta Airport, and we'll be taking off and heading to our northeast, we'll be climbing up to 7,500, and when we clear this airspace, we'll be contacting approach to pick up flight following on our way to Bakersfield. Um, 7,500 feet, that'll give us plenty of altitude to clear these mountain ranges that we'll be flying over. Um, I'll be flying mostly visually today and using the mountains as reference. Um, there's also Fellows VOR that I plan to tune in to the VOR and use that. As soon as we get past that, about uh, 15 miles or so, we should be able to see TAF on our right hand side and Elk Hills on our left and that's when I'll be making my initial descent prior to that I'll be picking up the ATIS and then um, we'll head straight into to Bakersfield airport elevation there is 510 feet so we can expect to enter the pattern at 1500 so a pretty straightforward simple flight and I'll go ahead and tune in my radios. Okay, so if we go back to the airport and frequencies, we'll need to dial in the ATIS here, which is 121.15. I'll 
put that in COM1. And then we'll need to talk to ground, which is 121.9. One put that on standby. And then in COM2, I'll set the tower, which is 118.3. And after we depart, I'll need to get flight following. So we go back to our chart supplement and we look down here. Santa Barbara approach will be 124.15. So I'll put that in standby. are set and I'll also just throw in the fellows VOR into nav one and that is 117.5 and it popped up there okay So now we can go ahead and taxi up and then contact ground and let them know what we'll be doing here. So, these two brakes, let me test my brakes. My brakes are all good. Taxi up forward. And for those of you that aren't familiar with Pilot Edge, um, this is live ATC for flight simulators. So we are talking to real live people. It's pretty interesting how it works. You can go to a website to learn more. Uh, I believe it's pilotedge.net. Is it .com or .net? One of those. It's the start of the taxiway, so we'll just we'll stop right here, and we'll make sure we are on COM one. Santa. Santa Maria Public Airport. ATIS information and Yankee. Get our ATIS. One five five one Zulu. Wind two seven zero at three. Visibility one zero. Few clouds at one thousand. Temperature one six. Dew point one two, altimeter two nine or nine or three, arriving and parting runway three zero, visual approaches in use, read back all runway assignment and hold short instructions, advise on initial contact you have information Yankee. Let me put my transponder to standby. Right, and now I'll contact ground. Switch. Santa Maria Ground, Cessna 11251 at Quebec. Request a northeast departure with information Yankee, and this is for the Cat 5. November 11251. Santa Maria Ground, when you file a flight plan for the airports, you need to put the kilo identifier in front of them. Uh, just keep that in mind for the future. I'll update it here. Runway 30, taxi via Alpha. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks. And runway 30 via Alpha 11251. All right, so yeah, when I filed the flight plan online, um, departing and arriving airports I didn't put the kilo so I remember that for next time and this is alpha it's clear to the left and right
Frank Tower first, one for Saint Chai Delta. I'm at uh, 2500. You want to move me to um, uh, departure? November 147 Chai Delta. Radar contact, contact departure. Contact departure 134.2, Saint Chai Delta. see a few clouds here in the in the vicinity but it won't be a problem for us just climb right over them it's not that many quiet morning. It is currently 10 a.m. And don't hear many other traffic right now. Wind is calm. I wanted to do this flight yesterday, but the winds were gusting to 30 knots. So I just decided to hold off and do it today. Alright, we're coming up on 3-0 here, and I'll just come straight here and do my run-up. takeoff checklist. Parking brake set, cabin doors are closed and latch. Flight controls are free. So I bank to the left and the left side goes up, the right side goes down. Bank to the right, the right side goes up and the left side goes down. And I like to look behind me. And there we go. So I can see Elevator is good and rudder is good. So they are free and correct. Flight instruments set. So we've got our attitude indicator aligned. Our altimeter setting is 2993. So let's put that in. 2993. Um, our magnetic compass is showing 260, so let's align that. Alright, 260, and then I'll put the heading bug on 30, which is our runway heading. That's set. We have our radios all set. Fill shutoff valve is on. Mixture is rich below 3000. Elevator trim is set for takeoff. And I actually set the trim um, on my yoke here. So you won't see me using this one. And let's see throttle to 1700. Magnetos, we'll check the left, looking for a slight drop, and we got a slight drop there. Back to both. And our right, another slight drop there. Good morning, John Wayne Clearance, Cessna 139 Julia, radio check. 
139 Juliet John. And we'll do Magneto check. A slight drop there as well. That's working good. Back off. Engine instruments. We're all in the green here. Oil temperature, oil pressure is in the green. Suction gauge is in the game. And meters showing positive. Radios are set. Santa Maria Tower, Cessna 11251, holding short runway 30, ready for departure. 11251, Santa Maria Tower, runway 30, clear for takeoff. 30, clear for takeoff, 11251. Okay. Altitude, landing light, strobes. Good to go. Off of Los, Los, Angeles, uh, Los Angeles Center. I'm going to use all of the runway here. to 
7,100 feet and we were climbing to 7,500 at the airport there off our right hand side. The fly just slightly left of our heading to avoid these clouds right here since we're maintaining VFR today. checkpoints to know that we're heading in the right direction is the Twitch Twitch Hill Reservoir which I can see off the left hand side here right so I'll go ahead and we're clear of the airspace now. So we're at 3,500 feet. And I'll go ahead and switch and pick up flight following. I say we're about 10 miles. Santa Barbara approach Cessna is 11251, about 10 miles to the northeast of Santa Maria, climbing to 7,500, plus flight following to Bakersfield. 11251, Santa Barbara departure. Squawk 5017, I Squawk 5017, and I did 11251. IBSCM contact SoCal approach 134.2. 134.2, yeah, Bravo Sailor Sunday Mike. DNPR contact SoCal approach 134.2. 134.2, Delta Echo Nova, Mapa Palomero. SoCal approach, India Bravo Sailor Sunday Mike, maintaining 4,000 feet. ND Bravo Sierra, Charlie Mike, SoCal approach, Burbank, Altimeter 2991, advise you at Romeo on approach request. Roger, Burbank, uh, Burbank, Burbank Altimeter 2991, ND Bravo Sierra, Charlie Mike. 1125, uh, 1, radar contact, 1's are miles north of Santa Maria Airport. Yeah, radar contact, 1125. Okay, so we're good there. Um, I'll go ahead. Local approach, Delta Echo Nova, Mapa Romeo, level 3,500 feet. VOR. So it is identified here. On Delta Echo Nova, Mapa Romeo, SoCal approach, a uh, Burbank altimeter, 291. So I know it'll be about a 050. 2991, Delta Echo Nova, Mapa Romeo. And it's centered on. Okay, approach, go out to find a mic at 3,394,000. Currently 5,000, and I should have leaned the mixture. We're above 3,000. So I'm leaning now. Four, six, four, nine, mic, so I'm going to turn the landing down. light off. Roger. So we're going to climb at 75. Pitch up a little bit. Uh, does this read 
street is uh, the ident being stuck on. 4649 on Mike, ready to contact over Santa Catalina VOR, it just cut off, it's good. Uh, climbing team 5000. Oh, sorry, can you say the altitude again? Air Force 649 and Mike Rainer, contact over Santa Catalina, VOR, climbing team 5000. Fellows VOR, 5, 000, if I want to put that in the GPS as well, I could go add it to the flight plan. Uh, messed up, here we go. Uh, 171 Golf, contact Los Angeles Center, 128.6. 28.6, 171 Golf. Transition Destination San Gabriel Airport, Cerna 172 Alfa Sierra. Also 12 0 so approach, Squawk 6350, right Say Squawk again, please, Cerna 172 Alfa Sierra. I want some 12 0 Squawk 6350, Cerna 172 Alfa Sierra. Departure of the Cessna 139 Juliet, climbing to 1800 foot to 2000. Officer, unable to continue for the rating. Uh, you um, change your frequency while inside the Delta airspace. Uh, say attention. To enable to copy, please say again, Cessna 172 Alpha Sierra. Alpha Sierra. Alpha Sierra. Alpha Sierra, you are unable to continue for the rating. You changed frequencies inside the Delta airspace without tower's permission. Say attention. Okay. Thank so. you very much. I had to okay. wait tower okay. before switching frequency. Is it correct? Just down. I want to to uh, one seven two up series. Yes, you have to while you're in their yeah. airspace you can't change your frequency without no. their permission. Roger that thank you very much. Seven one seven twelve for I want to know Juliet's uh still got a departure rate of contact climbing team four thousand. Other aircraft call on an AMC. All right. Southern California, just before we're nine Juliet, seven thousand five hundred. Do a cruise checklist. Our Come power. Come on, Juliet. Oh, you still got a partial rate contact on three thousand. Elevator trim. I'm adjusting now to stop this. Four thousand three hundred. Climb and mixture. Thanks for the departure. I want you to share the contact on three thousand five hundred. Seven hundred four three thousand five hundred. Two officer, Roger. Radar contact seven miles east of Ontario Airport. Seven miles from Buddy, maintain 3,000 until established low plaza, clear out from weight approach. Got a flight plan. Media Bravo, Shadow Charlie Mike on the ILS 08. IBSCM, six miles from Buddy, maintain 3,000 until established low plaza, clear out ILS from weight approach. Okay, maintain 3,000 uh, and uh, now established on the localizer uh, on runway 08. Local departure, Centurion 9273 Tango, level 2000. 9273 uh, Tango, still got departure, radar contact, flighting uh, 010, joint victory, climbing team 5000. Flight heading 010, joint victory, climb 5000. Thanks for the help, 2700. 172 Alpha Sierra, request frequency change. To check the 80s at Del Monte San Gabriel Airport, Cessna 172 Alpha Sierra. Thank you, Sierra. Every exchange. So, Captain Archer, November 653 Whiskey Fox, uh, 5000, heading 177. 653 Whiskey Fox, Charles Oak, Captain Archer, ready to contact, flighting uh, 250, climbing to 8000. 250, 8000. Last Vegas approach, TBM 120, uh, airport in sight. 
Romeo 2 Sierra Alpha, Roger. Zero 08, Romeo contacts, Santa Barbara Tower, 119.7. Over to Tower, Zero Romeo. 11251, contact, Los Angeles Center, 135.5. 135.5, 11251. So, can approach at now 172 right, Sierra, 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 one twenty six point seven. One twenty six point seven. One seven one to go. LA Center, Cessna one one two five one, level seven thousand five hundred. Right, one one two five one. Los Center, Vegas, speed altimeter two nine or eight seven. Two nine or eight seven. One one two five one. Two nine or eight seven. One seven one eight Golf. Uh, so Cal approach, Palm Springs altimeter 2985, have a remember to your routing advisor, ready to copy. We're going to get ready to cross the fellows VOR. And from there, we shouldn't have there much longer. Sure any chance, Rick Daggett? To Bakersfield. Uh, number three, Whiskey Fox shot. Uh, not, not at this time. Whiskey Fox. Or 73 Tango contact, SoCal approach 135.4. We have crossed the VOR. Let me adjust my head in. Look back to 0 05. 05, 05 heading. There we go. Give me one off contact, Las Vegas Tower, 119.9 over here. There we go. And about 43 miles away from. Uh, 9273 Tango, Southern California, Ontario, altimeter 2901.
6, so call approach 19.6. So we should be talking to Bakersfield Approach next after this. Which is 118.8, so I'll go ahead and put that into COM 2. 4619, so call approach San Diego altimeter. Two nine nine four. And we're just clearing the last of the mountain ranges on our flight plan. And we should be coming into Taft. And then um Bakersfield isn't too far from there. About 7,500 feet, that was a good altitude to clear all these mountains. We didn't have any problems there. And so it is now 10.39 a.m. But in the sim, I set the time to be I think I started at 4 p.m. But this is live weather. It's just the time is different. And I wanted to, to kind of land, you know, towards sunset, towards nighttime. Of course, the sun is starting to go down now. So I thought it would be really nice. Everything is running pretty smooth right now. This is the... Uh, okay. CFROP flight 270 joining Santa Monica 125 radio. I haven't had any problems. Santa Monica 25 miles out. Or 200 to it, thank you. Uh, six miles from Buddy, maintain we'll 3,000 foot depth, localized, clear to ILS from way it approaches. You should already be in the turn there. Our 178 golf contact, so call approach 135.4. I 
Oh, one three nine to Juliet, Roger. Yeah, you're you're um, uh, you're well below the glass. Uh, well, you were well, well, well below the glass up there. Um, contact Bourbon Tower one eight point seven. Sir, 
Midfield right down, one for three zero. We do have the airport in sight. Straight ahead of us there. I'm maintaining about two thousand RPM. Seven miles away, I'm kind of high, so I'm going to start descending a little bit more. And because I'm pulling the power back so much, I'll put the car repeat on. Bernardino Tower, Cessna 172 Alpha Sierra for CAT 7 rating, request departure, runway 24 ready for takeoff, holding short. And we're going to do a normal landing here, so we'll use full flaps. Limber Tower, 652 Sierra Lima, ready to go, 27. Maintain 65. Four six uniform runway three zero. Cut a land runway two nine zero five. We cleared that cloud. Clear land runway three zero. Baron eight five four six uniform. Clear six five three zero Lima Glimber Tower runway two seven. Clear for takeoff one one three zero five. Two seven clear for takeoff three zero. Oxnard Tower for that one five one one on truck clear two five uh, Echo for Delta Fox Drop. Pino one one hotel contact ground. Contact ground for one five one hotel. Sure. November one seven two Alpha Sierra San Bernardino Tower runway two four clear for takeoff wind calm. Clear for takeoff runway two four seven one seven two Alpha Sierra. Downwind. 
Two kettle parts are three zero. Yeah, I see three zero right there. I'll call. And Bakersfield Tower one one two five one is going to midfield downwind for three zero right. Under one one two five one runway three zero right, clear to land with very bullet five. Clear the land, runway three zero right, one one two five one. Alright, so we power back. We are updating the numbers. Number four six uniform contact ground. So Going to ground, ground four six uniform. We're not in the white arc yet. Reduce the power some more. Now first natural flaps. So 
172 Alpha Sierra, uh, still with Embraer Tower. I cannot give you authorization to enter the Charlie. Um, your the mistake previously is you changed your frequency um, before you exited the Delta airspace. So if you're still inside the Delta and you want to change to a different frequency, you have to ask uh, the tower. If you're outside the Delta and you want to change your frequency, then you can do that without uh, the tower hand handing you off. Roger, Cerna 172 Alpha Sierra. Okay, who would call for takeoff? Maria Tower, Cessna 1216, Whiskey is at 2,900, request full stop landing. The 1216, Whiskey, Camarillo okay. Tower, and Flaps you're up. inbound. Uh, you're on the downwind there, from week 26. Flaps up. Uh, I think I'm a little bit far out for the downwind. Uh, okay, stay in your position for the field. Uh, sorry about that. About two miles uh, north. There, 1216 Whiskey, if I'm looking at the wrong right aircraft, do you look like you're on a, on a right down from... And Bakersfield Towers, 11251, it's clear of 30 right at Echo. Or 251, contact ground. Contacting ground, 1251. Right, the ground is 121.7. Bakersfield Ground, Cessna 11251 uh, at Echo. We'd like to taxi to transient parking. The number 11251 Bakersfield Ground, taxi via Alpha to the ramp. Taxi via Alpha to the ramp, 11251. Right. It's clear left and it's clear right. Cessna 251, I've updated your Cat 5 rating. All right, appreciate it. Los Angeles ground, runway 25 left, taxi via Alpha, Foxtrot. 25 left via Alpha, Foxtrot, 5 on Juliet. November 1216, Whiskey, Camarillo ground, taxi via Bravo, and Foxtrot to your ramp. Have a good day. Bravo, Foxtrot, 16 Whiskey, thank you. I'll we'll go park next to this jet. November 62, Delta Mike, did you call and say you're ready to taxi? Two Delta Mike, uh, we didn't call, but we are ready for taxi this time, India. Six two Delta Mike, Roger. Swap boat Charlie one able runway two zero right taxi via Bravo Kilo. Bravo Kilo two zero right mode Charlie for a uh, two Delta Mike. Field truck waiting on us. Ground is Charlie Fox, Alpha India Tango. Right, Charlie guys. Fox, Alpha India Made Tango, man. To the ramp, there's a field truck right there Alpha waiting India on our Tango arrival. Cessna 172 with the north ramp by signature uh, with information Lima, just looking to get set up for some service. Appreciate you guys watching that. Charlie Fox, Alpha India Tango, Roger, advisory Let's taxi. Go ahead after landing, securing parking brake, set radio, electrical equipment. All right, Roger, Alpha India Tango. Off, mixture. Idle cut off. Master switch. 
and ignition. All right, guys, there we go. So yeah, once again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And it's the, let's see, the Cat 6 will be next. So hope to see you on that one. Take it easy.